Today we are going to train your English voice to use relative clauses with that, which, who and what. Relative clauses give us more information about someone or something. We can use relative clauses to combine clauses without repeated information. Have a look at the word that. That is used in a defining clause. Have a look at the sentence example. Where are the tickets that I bought yesterday? That is used in a defining clause which gives more information about the tickets. Now we know that I bought the tickets yesterday. Let's have a look at this example. Can I have a piece of the cake that Jill made? That is used in a defining clause that gives more information about the cake. Now we know that Jill made the cake. Next, which. Which is used in a defining clause. Have a look at the sentence example. This is the film which I told you about. This is a defining clause, which defines the film as the one I told you about. Let's have a look at another example. This is the pizza which was in the fridge. This is a defining clause. It defines the pizza as the one in the fridge. Next, who. Who is used to identify a person. Have a look at the sentence example. That is the editor who won the award. Now we are using the word who to identify and give more information about the editor. Another example. That is the man who lives next door. We are giving more information and identifying a person, the man. So we use the word who in the defining clause. And the last one, what. What is used to identify the thing that. Let's have a look at the sentence example. They don't know what happened to her. What is identifying the thing that they don't know. What happened to her. Another example. She told the waiter what she wanted to eat. Here, what is identifying the thing that she told the waiter? What she wanted to eat. Excellent job with relative clauses. Well done. Goodbye.